Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Turn on notifications right now. Good evening. <coughs> wow. <coughs> hmm. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumbo Tycoon 2 video. Now, before I get started, um, there is something I need to bring to your attention, and that is oh gosh, I didn't I didn't bring it up. Hold on. There we go. It's this right here. Um, you guys, seriously, you raised um, $27.38 just by viewing the No Shave November. $27.38 times two is over $50. So because everything goes in increments, um, I t said I was going to donate uh, one for one. So if you donated a dollar, I donated a dollar, stuff like that. So um, you guys didn't have to donate anything. All you had to do was watch the video multiple times. And the ads that were inside the video would be your donation to St. Jude's uh, Research Hospital. So, because I couldn't do a $50 donation and that would be half of what uh, what it was, um, it was above $50. So we did the next best thing and it was a $75 donation. So uh, here's a little thank you card that got sent to myself, but it's dedicated to you. A gift has been made in your honor at St. Jude's uh, Children's Research Hospital. This gift will help will help St. Jude continue to find cures for children with cancer and other life-threatening diseases throughout something. Uh, your dedication and viewership alone raised money to help save lives. Thank you for being a fan and helping out. Code Primate. So that is dedicated to you guys. You, the one sitting there right now watching. Because of you, people are going to get the money that they need to do the research to uh, to help save lives. So, with that being said, and with everything that you guys have done for me, let's go get these new gifts. Yes, that's right. There's new gifts inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, they are over at the boxcar store. And um, I just caught wind of it the other day. I was, uh, actually, I just caught wind of it this morning that there is new stuff in here. I, ha I haven't been playing much lumber. I've been actually um, studying Unity and learning how to program inside Unity to create uh, standalone video games, console video games, stuff like that. So I, I don't know. Uh, I have an idea and I want to create my own game development company. That's, uh, you know, whether or not I have employees or if it's just myself, it doesn't really matter. But that is... That's my long-term end goal. That's what I want. I want a gaming company, and I want to make it myself. You know, uh, I've I've done a lot of things in my lifetime, and I, I think it's a achievable goal. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna make good games, but we're definitely gonna make games that I enjoy. So <laughs> here they are. They are the uh, the gift of good preparedness. The gift of good. Preparedness. Never be caught without one of these when things turn awry. That is a mysterious gift. Is it? Is it a tire? I wonder if it's a tire. Okay, Jenny, let's purchase these. Uh, these gifts. Yes, I, I want to purchase a couple of them actually. We'll, we'll be we'll be stacking up these gifts today. Oh oh oh! Come on! Whoa! It's got a it's got a weird hitbox. By the way, I've been working with hitboxes and with um. Whoa! They're heavy. <gasps> Why are they so heavy? You guys see that? Those are some heavy boxes. They're wheels. They are. They're they're definitely wheels for the trucks. <laughs> I don't know why that would make sense, but being inside the, this shop with Ginny as crazy as she is with the cats and stuff. I wonder if it's a cat. She put cats in here. <laughs> so, uh, of course, that didn't, that didn't make sense with the, uh, the texture that it's got on it. Snakeskin style 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What are y'all doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. <laughs> they didn't know what they were doing. They were like, oh man, we are trying to reappear and it's not working. Okay, Jenny, let's buy those. Yes. And again. Yes. Okay. I just realized. Oh no, Jenny! Wait. Why is she shut down so early? Are you kidding me? Hold on. I gotta go get my... My, uh... Last gift. Oh, oh, ouch. Ouchie. Hold on, can I, can I just, yeah. We'll just open that. Okay. Open, out, out the door, out the, oh. Let me out, let me out. Ugh. That is a heavy, heavy gift. Okay, well, we got five of them. That's good. Um, let's zip over here real quick. Have we gotten all the presents over here? Is there anything new? Let's take a look. No. No. Now, somebody was telling me that there is a speed run... Uh, speed run thing. There's a, there's a speed run website, and it's got a, a challenge called the Rookery X Speed Run. It's where you start off with a like a brand new base and you speed run to see how fast you can get the rookie axe from scratch. I was thinking about doing it, but I don't have any bases that I want to completely scratch or get rid of. So I don't know that I'm going to do it, but it was an idea. It's a thought. Anything in here? Anything? Nothing, Bob. He, he, he. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these. Oh, wait. <laughs> Gotta buy it first there, Code. Silly goose. What are you doing? I don't know. Let's just try and... Alright, I'll take it. Thank you. We'll take one of these. A oh, thank you. And let's go. Let's away, let's away. Oh... <sighs> really nice um oh i am going to show you a little bit of my lumber at the very end so stay tuned and i will uh i will reveal what i've been working on and where my plans are going with my lumber because it's not it's not the way that you thought it was going to go I have an idea for like the building system and stuff like that, and I want to do something different. Like I really like the way that Projute's building system works, but it all still looks like Roblox. And no offense, I don't want my game to look like Roblox. <clears throat> now your character and stuff like that, I can't can't really control too much, so. We'll probably leave it alone. Oh my gosh. Really? Come on. Oh. Wow. Those are heavy. Oh. I don't, I don't even think I've got to worry about those going and getting glitched off the base because they're just. They're massively heavy. Why are they so heavy? Are these weights? <laughs> Jenny's like, you're weak! You need to pump iron! Get on the get on the bench press! What are those? 45s? You need you need hundreds. My goodness. Okay. Okay, we're just we're just gonna leave those. What are you doing? We're just gonna leave those alone. All right, grab our TNT, and I want to come on, move, 
this and put this. Yeah. Put this in. Ah, ah, no. Stop. Ah, stop. Stop. Just get in there. Whew. Okay. So, uh, that is that, I guess. Um, I, I didn't realize that Ginny was going to close so quickly. Otherwise, I would have prepared a little bit more and just waited for the correct time. But, uh, I, I needed to show you guys the, uh, the donation and the, uh, the amount of money that you guys raised. Absolutely amazing. It amazes me every year that you guys watch so many ads and raised that much money. That's cool. That's really cool. Just for uh, just for watching ads, you you made a donation. Pretty cool. Um, let's go here. No, I don't want to build. I want to rotate, rotate into it, rotate, rotate. There you go. Come on, come on. Break on me, break. Oh. Ooh, nice. Basically, what the idea is, is if you can get the box, or if you can get these, these to slightly turn. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Whoa. There's nothing nothing on this side. Come on. Am I stuck stuck? I'm not stuck. Oh, I just turned the wheel. There we go. Get wedged in there like that. And then come on, we can we can do this. We can push it. Come on. By the way, TNT is much easier. Just saying. If you're if you're looking for a an easy way in, do TNT. But for me, I like glitching stuff out. Whoa. Hello. Oh, nice. Can I fit through here? Nope. Can I fit through... Maybe right here? Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I did not like that, did it? Oh, oh, come on. Try, trying to hit the front of the car here. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're under, we're under, we're under. Didn't mean to go under. Hey, there we go. And turn, turn. <laughs> All fixed. <laughs> oh man. What I was trying to do is just get over here and uh, go get some some wood, some uh, ice wood. Not that I need it, but you know, just for fun and, and for excitement. <sighs> I have been busy 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 and this weekend went by so fast we're now on Monday you guys are about ready for like winter break right that that's coming up soon next week I think so you guys will be out until uh, after the first of the year Christmas Christmas is right around the corner 
My daughter's birthday is right around the corner. My my son's birthday is right around the corner. I love this time of the year. And we got snow today. Beautiful, big, fluffy snow. But it wasn't warm enough to stick, so everything just got wet. It was like a rain. It was like snowing, but the result was rain. So, hopefully, hopefully we get a lot more. Uh, I think today marks the first day of winter. Isn't that right? So technically today is the first day of winter. I think. I could I could be wrong. I read it. I think I read that on the calendar. Ooh, ooh. whoops. Uh oh. Okay. But. With winter comes cold weather, so if you have old clothes and coats and stuff like that, be sure to get those out and donated. Uh, I know that with ah, dang it, I know that with COVID going on and everything else, a lot of places aren't taking donations. So if you happen to see the um, the. Uh, the little Christmas trees with like the the purchase things from Walmart to help with donations and stuff. Um, they could really use new coats, new hats, mittens, stuff like that. Stuff for kids that might not have basic essentials like gloves. So make your donations, do what you can. There's going to be a lot of societies, a, a lot of uh, charities going on that you can give donations to. And don't get me wrong, um, food drives are great, right? Food drives where you co collect cans of food and stuff like that, but the food that you collect has to be sorted, carried, transported, stuff like that. So there's a lot of extra cost that go into um, food drives. And one of the best things that you can do is donate money. I know it sounds, it sounds like a shallow thing to say like, oh yeah, just give them money and that would help. A lot of people don't have money, but they, they do have uh, uh, canned foods and stuff like that. Um, donating money actually helps because there's uh, an excess of like, farmer food and stuff like that like there's there's uh, local farmers who will sell bushels of, of fruits and vegetables for like a dollar and that's because it's usually surplus a lot of extra surplus goes into it oh no that one died right underneath me that was not because of the axe um, so donate money I mean that's the that's the best you could do is just don't donate money. I think that's that's one of the reasons that I really like doing the uh, the no shave November, the way that I do, is because the money is already there. The money was spent for advertisements, and the customer, the the people who pay for the advertisements, are getting the end result that they paid for. They're getting your attention, and your attention. Uh, is an exchange for a monetary value that goes into YouTube advertising and that goes into my pool of money that I get and as a result I take that money and I donate it to charity to uh, St. Jude's so it's a it's a very cool concept the way that, that the uh, the no shave November works whenever I do it each year <sighs> I wish we had more, more ways of doing things like that, you know? Uh, and YouTube has come a long way since, uh, since its beginnings and having the ability to, um, have a donate tab or to do charity events is just very cool. That's a huge ice tree. Do you guys see that? Come on, get it, get it. Wow, that's a big ice tree. I don't, I don't know that I'm going to be able to fit that on there. We'll stick it in there somewhere. Come on, get in there. 
Uh oh, uh oh, I'm hitting the other tree. Come on. Ooh, yeah. There we go. So, this will be the challenge right here. We are going to drive into oblivion. Hopefully, this is going to be fun. Oh, no. <laughs> we. <laughs> we all saw that coming. We we knew it was going to happen. That's amazing. Okay. Uh What fun. <laughs> oh. Whew. Big tree, big fun, big jump. Well, I think I think I know what I'm, my uh my thumbnail is going to be. <laughs> on my way to get presents <laughs> just a huge mass of ice trees falling out of the back of the truck oh good times alright uh, pull forward just a little bit jump back out go grab this ice tree this one was kind of scraggly it was like Wink. If you, if you guys didn't know how the trees are generated, it's generated by a script, or module script, that tells it how to grow. Like, uh, most of it's random and in patterns. It's random patterns. So, it's got a, a specific way that each tree grows, and then each tree uh, has a behavior and pattern and stuff like that, so. It's one of the reasons I like I like Lumber Tycoon 2 so much is because it's very organized chaos, you know? Uh, for those of you asking about my sniffles and my COVID, yes, we're doing good. We're, we're doing really good. Oh no! The boulders are back and they're back with a force. Oh no. See, this is always, this is why it's always good to, to bring uh, a second, you know what? We'll do it, we'll do this the correct way. Let's go ahead and back this up right there. And then I'm going to reset my character right here. Actually, I'm gonna reset my character on the other side. That way I don't lose my axes inside the, uh, Oh gosh, oh, fit, there we go. And then we can reset right here. Reset, there we go. I don't wanna lose the axes. And in the snow, you can lose your axe really easy. So, oh, 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 geez. Okay, we already bought, uh, bought some TNT because I, I knew I was coming this direction, so. Put that in the back. Hit B. Go ahead and open that up. And let's go. Let's go! <laughs> I just realized one of my lights has turned. Has it been casting a weird shadow or anything? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, by the way, 257 pounds. That's what I weigh. I've been on the uh, keto diet for, what, five weeks now? And doing great. Love, love the weight loss. It's it's absolutely amazing that this can be considered a diet. Uh, somebody said, have you ever heard of fad diets? And I'm like, yeah, I know what fad diets are, but this is definitely not what I would consider a fad diet. Just because I'm I'm not a health nut. I don't like health nuts. I don't I don't consider myself a health nut, but hold on. That should be good. That's good. Let's bag it up. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. Boom. Oh no. There's one more. Or two more. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab these. Come on. Uh, that out. There we go. 
Oh, oh, come on, seriously. <laughs> so we need to rotate. Rotate. Oh, nice. Skills. We can leave the truck. Let's go. 25 minutes in and still having fun. <sighs> Let's see, what do I need to do? I've got I've got the drop off on the outside, so I'll drop it off and, and we'll chop it up right here. Uh we we can back it up. That might be a little too close. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, amber axe to the end. That'll be fine, right? And then we can hit B. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't even remember where I got that set on. I should probably go check. Is it on max? Yeah, it's on max. Ooh, that's that's not gonna work. Those those won't work. So let's set these on. Let's say. Um, wait, should these be three? No. Let's do two by twos. Two two by two, two by two. There we go. Two by two. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Come on out here. <sighs> it feels good just to lumber. To lumber once again. That's not where I cut it. Ooh. Little piece fell out. <laughs> Took me a couple jumps, but I finally got it. That's good. Um, a lot of people have asked me in the past, what is the most profitable wood? Like, what, what can you get the most money from? And I always tell them it's lava wood. Lava wood is the fastest, especially if you have a lava axe or a fire axe. That is the quickest way to make money. And the reason is because of the bulk amount and the sheer amount of wood that you can get on each run. Um, it averages about twenty twenty thousand dollars, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per run. That's per fifteen minutes. So that's that's incredibly the fastest one that you can get. So if you didn't know that already. A lot of people watch my channel, so you, you probably already knew that. Uh-oh, that one's stuck. Should we should we build a thing here? I think I think so. Hold on. Let's do four. Do I have wedges? Do I have wedges? I don't have wedges. So that's that's not a good idea. 
Okay. I'm thinking we might need to go get some more blueprints and like get all the wedges. Because the wedges would really help out in this particular situation where I could create ice wood, which doesn't have friction. Like it's got very low friction and this stuff wouldn't be getting stuck. Like it's getting stuck on the edges. Do you see that? That ain't good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Uh oh, oh no, no, stop, stop, stop. There we go. Good, good, good. Uh, I may have chopped that too small. Nope, it worked. Sometimes you, you don't chop it quite correct, like in the correct spot, and it kind of falls off the end, still attached, like, like this. Here, I'll do this one on purpose. Sometimes you miss and it does that, where you're like, ah, dang it, now you gotta cut that again. I've done that so many times, so many times. Okay, come on. That one can go in. As for the rest of these, I don't, okay, I've got one more. As for these little ones, I don't think they will process, so. We don't, we don't need to worry about them. They'll be, they'll be good. Maybe that one. And maybe that one. I don't know that that's gonna fit though. Mm, no. There we go. Good. Oh, wait. Come on, fit. Come on, fit. You know what? We we just we'll just process all this. This is this is all pretty big size stuff. It's not like they're sticks or limbs. That one I gotta chop again. Ah, oh, dang it! I, I chopped it in the wrong spot again, didn't I? <clears throat> well, yep, chopped in the wrong spot. Well, oh, chopped in the wrong spot again. What? Uh oh. Come on, you two. There. I guess that'll work. Okay. All the rest is just little sticks and stuff. Oh, oh one more. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> wow. That took forever. Get in there. Ah. Uh. Should I go back for my, my other truck? No, it's fine. Oh my gosh, look at all the wood. Look at all that wood, that is amazing. Why is it not going down here? Oh, maybe that's why. Okay, so we need one piece of wood, of ice wood in there. Oh no! Is it all too small? There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's just let's just do that. <laughs> oh man. Come on. No. Didn't stay long enough. Is the delay all the way up? The delay's all the way up, so I don't know. Anyhow, I'll sit here and watch this for a little bit. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here, you, were, you watched, you had fun. I love you guys very much. Have a great night or day, and we'll talk to you 
very soon. <gasps> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.